welcome to the windows channel and um, i will talk about three things that people ask me question regularly about creators update and if it integrates all of that um, i'll talk about three features not making it to the creators update that uh, are kind of interesting the first one is project neon so project neon is a complete design overhaul of everything and a lot of people, one of the comments I get very often is a lot of people say there's not enough effects in Windows 10. There's not enough things that we'd like to, that we can tweak and, you know, have aerial glass effect and stuff like that. And Project Neon is there to kind of redesign everything, every app, every corner of Windows, and something that is more fluid, more cool, more, you know, customizable to whatever you want. And this is not making it to Creators Update. Now, we knew, I, I knew for a long time, and pretty much everybody that follows Microsoft knew for a long time, this really wasn't going to make it to Creators Update. But a lot of people thought, yeah, that's going to be there, and it's not. So this is a feature that we know will be included in Redstone 3, the next update, later this year, October, November, something like that. So that's one of the first things that's not there. The second one is more surprising because Microsoft made a demonstration of how its people communications experience was going to be the one of the major issues, the major things in the creator's update. And, uh, you know, it's a little sad because everything would be linked together. So your contacts in the mail, uh, via Skype, via the People app, via pretty much everything social, would all interact <coughs> with each other. And um, it was part of a bill, a few builds, and then got removed. And it seems that, um, you know, the reason they say is removed is our goal with Windows is to deliver experiences you'll love. And we made the decision to hold this feature, the My People experience, for the next major update to Windows. So that means it's going to be pushed also to Redstone 3. And it's uh, surprising that they, you know, talked about this so much to not implement it in Windows Creators Update. So that's another feature we're not getting. And finally, in the uh, My People experience, um, I'd say that um, in, in the Windows 10 experience that's not making the cut is what we call um, app edges or um, you know redesigned tiles a little bit. A lot of people wanted to have tiles that are a little more polished. You know, they're square and rectangles right now. And people said, well, you know, maybe we could have something with rounded edges and, you know, a little more refined uh, type of apps. And that's not also making it this time. And uh, this one has been asked for a long time ago. And I don't know what actually makes it uh, not go through. One of the things that I was thinking is maybe the app edges are not part of this because it might be something part of Project Neon, which means that the rounded edges and the, the customizable tiles would be there. You know, the the tiles in Windows 10 is the thing you, you love or you hate. I rarely get, you know, oh, this is really, you know, the cool stuff uh, that I like. Uh, I, it's, you know, I, I like it. I find it the design is nice. Or I just hate it, and really, there's no in the middle or in between. Uh, so maybe you know, with a redesign, and I would think that maybe Project Neon will be part of this. Um, maybe it could have people, you know, like a little better the stuff here. And one last thing that I am surprised that Microsoft doesn't really uh, give us the possibility. And once again, I'm thinking maybe Project Neon could bring this. Um, a lot of people want to have the possibility to redesign their start menu and the way they like it. You know, no tiles or no app list or no. And um, 
there's very little or you know ap apart from the fact that we'll have you know uh, folders and stuff like that there's very little that is offered in the tweaking of the start menu uh, it will pretty much except for the folders stay the same as it was and I get enough comments about that that I you know I'm surprised Microsoft is not playing around and dealing with this a little bit so uh, that's not going to be in creators update also you know a lot of people said hey will I be able to uh, you know get uh, the start menu like it was before on the original Windows 10 a lot of people seem to love that then again this redesign of the start menu is also something that a lot of people ask for and that's why it's here but you know if you're to put this I don't think it would have been that difficult to just put a little on off switch of you know I don't want a hap list I want a hap list and so on so um, you know if uh, I don't know it's, uh, it's maybe in next version this will change but it's not part of um, creators update also so um, four little features that you know people would have enjoyed I think and uh, especially you know I'm still hooked on the, the people experience that's so surprising that they they aren't putting it on the Windows 10 experience if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know and thank you so much for following us on this channel